Well, welcome back everyone. Uh, back onto the self-balancing robot version 2. And it's complete. It's working. I've actually already posted a little teaser video up there. In this video, we'll have a bit of a talk about the changes to the initial circuit diagram. Now the circuit design and the PCB have both been shared and I'll put a link uh, down below so that you can uh, shoot over to that project and grab the uh, circuit board files if you would like to actually manufacture some for yourself. One thing I would mention, the weather here is atrocious and I'll just post a little bit of video there. It's um, gone from being you know, quite nice to just disgusting. So not feeling too bad about being stuck inside producing these videos this weekend because it's just diabolical outside anyway let's take a look at the circuit now Okay, well, let's take a look at this circuit now. Look, if you can hear the wind whistling around, I must apologize, the weather here has turned disgusting. It's blowing a gale, it's just miserable outside, and uh, probably a really good day to be inside doing this sort of stuff. Let's take a look at the circuit because there have been a number of changes. Um, I first went through this circuit in uh, video 17 and then talked about some changes in video 34 and we're now quite a bit further on than that but once we actually start doing the build and you know getting the code debugged we do sort of find things need to change so I just want to cover off on the few things that did change or the few updates there are probably the first thing is I was finding it was really painful changing the program on the microcontroller chip uh, to either have to pull it out or fiddle around with clip leads and things like that and it was just a bit of a nightmare so what I did was actually insert a programming port uh, which is just a, a six pin header on the actual circuit board so just showing that on the schematic here and we'll take a look at the actual circuit board layout later on just to make life easier when changing the program and i'll do that on all arduino projects like this in the future it just saves so much time so that's the first thing that's changed i guess the other thing that i should mention the mpu 6050 um, i'm using the dmp in the code which i'll go into in another video and normally it relies on the interrupt out of the 6050 into the Arduino to let it know when there's new data. Because I'm using interrupts also for the stepper control, I found there was some problems with the actual stepper control when using the 6050's interrupt. I've left the wiring on board, but the code isn't actually using that interrupt. But I figure down the track, if I want to revert to using the uh, hardware interrupt, at least it's there. So I've left that on the circuit board, but it's unused at the moment. The other thing, and I touched on this in uh, video 34, is on the original layout, the DRV8825 driver overlay I was using was sort of mirrored or reversed, which was a real pain because I actually had the boards manufactured. Now in video 34, I actually swapped that around. Now the Bluetooth module, I'm not too sure how I didn't actually notice it, but it was labeled as the incorrect device before. I think it was labeled as a HC6 which is not a Bluetooth low energy module. I'm using the HM10 uh, module. And the reason I'm doing that is because with Apple devices, if you want to communicate over normal Bluetooth, it has to have an Apple chip on it and that costs a bazillion dollars. But if we go to using uh, Bluetooth low energy, um, so BLE4, 
no such requirement, so we can connect to it no problem at all. I'm using the same uh, control app for iOS that I built for the previous robot to control this one, and it needs to be HM10. And the actual layout of the pins on the header is slightly different. They're not used, so it doesn't matter. However, that's now correct. Now, for the rest of the changes, we'll just have a look at the actual PCB itself. There are quite a few changes here to the layout just to sort things out a little bit. One of the things that I found was necessary, the, when using the DMP, it actually relies on the MPU being horizontal. Now, previously I had it being mounted, well, horizontally on the board, but when it was actually mounted in the robot, it was mounted vertical. So I've changed the header around here a little bit just to allow that. I've put the programming header on here and just a few little adjustments to the Bluetooth module and everything just to get everything laid out nicely on the board. And this was the design that I sent away to be manufactured and it seems to be working quite okay. One issue I did find, I've mounted the LEDs um, direct onto the actual board. I've actually found in the design of the case, the switch actually sits in front of these two LEDs a little bit, which is not ideal, but I think I'll just move the LEDs later. So there you go. That's the circuit as it stands. I uh, don't foresee any other changes. So I just wanted to mention that the files are available for download and I'll put a link down below. If you like what I'm doing, then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.